My fellow brothers and sisters, things are tough, very tough, and it is tough for everyone. But one of the things that you have to safeguard yourself against are actually freeloaders or people who have entitled or, or, uh, mentality towards whatever it is that they can get from you. Some of these people are so selfish that they will never think about your well-being. They don't even care. You can die for all the, their concern as long as whatever it is that they want, they get it. For some of them, you even dying will be the best thing that happens to them. After all, they'll be able to, if you're a man, they'll be able to go in there, drive your wife and children out and pack all your properties and be able to eat it very well. If you're a woman, probably they will fight with your husband uh, to get it. Or even if you're, if you're not married, you don't have a family, they would be able to get it and grab it. There are so many people that will come and say to you, which is some of the things that I read earlier today, where some will say to you, oh, you don't even have children. What do you use money for? And that, oh, since, since you don't have children, come and adopt one of their children or whatever. I just want to say to you, there's something they call tough love. Nobody is saying you shouldn't help. If you want to help, by all means help. But do not help in a way that is detrimental to not only you, but those who are primarily dependent on you. There are a lot of people who will say to their children, eh, don't worry, we will do it after. Or to their wives or their immediate family, don't worry, understand with me. And then they are doing eye service out there for people who do not even care about them. God is not going to punish you because you did not help someone who is not primarily your responsibility. But God will punish you when you don't help the person who is primarily your responsibility when you had the means to do that. Why am I telling you all of this thing? As the days goes on, the days are going to get tougher. And you'll be able to, you will get calls from people from telling you that, hey, we've not eaten since Bigiridigba. And those that will tell you that they need money for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, there are a lot of sub stories. And the ones that we tweet, that we send message, it's very easy to send message. All they do is copy and paste. And I can tell you, just like 419, you're not the first person they have sent to. They have sent to so many people. And I'm going to tell you something. You will be the first person that they will say, oh, what did they even do with their wealth? Meanwhile, you spent your time taking care of all their responsibilities. There's a way I always do the analogy for people. I say, look, when you're trying to, especially when you're trying to grow, you've not really gotten yourself there. It's like you're trying to uh, go uphill or climb a tree and people are standing behind and they are pulling your leg, pulling your leg, pulling your leg. You know what will happen most times? You don't get to that top of the tree. You always most likely come down and be at their, at their level and everyone will be there. Is that what you want? I don't think so. So I always say to people, what you will do, shake them off. Climb as quickly as you can, as swiftly and as you can. Get to the top of the tree. Sit down comfortably. Then you can lean down and carry people up one after the other. So guess what? You uplift more of your people. This message is especially for those who are firstborns. I'm a firstborn and I know how we were guilt-treated right from our childhood, childhood to believe that we are there to take care of our, uh, our junior ones, extended family and all of that. To the extent, the normal African parents, they gave birth to children that we were told we had to be the ones to look after them. So if you follow that, if you follow with those words that had been planted in your head, most time you see people not getting there. Yes, I believe in helping. Yes, I believe it's a good thing, but you must not help to the detriment of your own well-being or that of your family, especially those that are primarily dependent uh, on you. Like they say, you can't help the poor by being poor yourself. So you have to get to a place of stability, then you raise uh, people up. When we talk about protection of money, one of the things that we need to protect our money from are ourselves and even friends and families and those people that constantly we ask for help. So what do you do? Budget a certain amount of money that you're going to give out as charity, that you're going to use for family and friends, you're paying school fees for someone, you're doing one thing or the other, put it out there when that money finishes for that month anybody that is coming in you say please i'm sorry uh, i've exceeded my budget for the month wait for the following month and then you put them on the queue they will not die because you did not immediately help them some of them will give you all sorts of sub story let me tell you if you drop dead today they will move on 
to the next person. So you have to protect yourself to even be able to continuously uh, help them. Then we have those family members who, no matter what you do for them, they always have a way of coming down. You start a business for them, they will complain, 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 the business dies. You start another one from them, you give them money to do things. They always, you know, just... One of the advice I give to people, I say, if those family members have children, pick one or two, some of them, and put them in school that you can afford and just help train those children. That way, that responsibility is taken away. And then there are those the children who, some the most times are either your children's cousin, will not be a liability on your own children. Yes, we have to help. What do you do? Your mother gave birth to 10, 11, 15 children. You're the first, second, third and then you have to take care of so many uh, siblings and then they are having more. But at the end of the day, remember what I said, you can't help the poor by being poor yourself. So we need to be strategic about this whole thing. So, uh, so don't, don't allow anyone to blackmail you. Sometimes parents are the worst. They will emotionally blackmail you, especially those parents. I don't know what it is. It is that child when he had no correct. That's the one they are always fascinated about. They are all into that. And most times they will try to tell you, hey, if you know that I'm the one that gave you breast, if you know that, eh, mama, I know say now you give me breast. But you see this matter where we did talk, now money matter. Even that one where you want me to help, so you might give him breast. Why, you know, they, you know, stand up. Yes, yeah, you go respectfully say, mama, male, just chill small. Maybe he did get there. At the end of the day, this emotional blackmail never end. And you sometimes might be the one that suffers the most for it. Then, it is those people who, for whatever reasons, think that they are, they are entitled to whatever it is that you have. Those ones, you must find a way to shut it down. For me, I always say one thing. If I'm going to help you, I'm going to help you. Because I want to help you, not because you're emotionally blackmailing me. If you like, go and say, I share you, Sophie is the most wicked person by here. You know, wicked to yourself, where you know, help yourself. Me, no, say, God, no, go punish me because I know, help you. Because since God, no, punish you because you know, help yourself. That is for one. So I'm not going to allow anybody, oh, eh, I'll put it out there that she's not helping me. say, I'm not here to help you. You help yourself. But for those, there, yeah, there are a lot of people that are in need. And they want and they really deserve help you can help them but it must never be at a place where it's coming with entitlement even the children you get back to there's a certain age they reach they must take care of themselves we've got into this place where so many people refuse to work refuse to do the needful just waiting on their fellow citizens waiting with such entitled mentality and with a lot of emotional blackmail I say to you once again don't fall for that Whatever it is, remember, you can't help the poor by being poor yourself. Thank you so much for watching.